All right. JM Elite 9 LCQ, we have Jack Gorman, six part Danish crime drama versus Tismi. Uh, so either way, um, whoever wins gets to go into the top cut, top eight, and whoever loses goes into the loser's bracket. So really we're playing for positions at top 12 day. Um, but either way, both of these players have had a bit of a monumental run, especially Tismi. I don't think anyone was expecting him to make it this far in bracket, let alone a chance at uh, winner's side, yeah. top 12. Really, really impressive performance. Oh, and Zoom's coming out already. Yeah, that was, uh, a bit dicey, not gonna lie. Like, I saw, uh, 6PCD just Ooh. falling down there and just expected, like, an early stock, but no, it's hero. We'll try to call out the roll there. The back air, taking yeah, nice it out. Yeah, first stock to Tizmi. Uh, I played against him in friendlies recently, and he's actually improved a lot. Like, this Incin is genuinely threatening. Yeah, I um, agree. Very scary, and it can, like, just take your stocks in, like, a couple hits. Yeah, and that's one of the scariest things as well, right? Because, like, it's a heavy, right? You want to be shielding it because he just craps out so much damage. <laughs> but then he has a command grab as well, so you have to be on your toes about that, especially because it's a bit of, like, a burst move. So, yeah. if you're not really conscious of where you are on stage, you can just kind of like grab you and either um, like delete your stock or at least make you hurt quite a fair bit. Um, but on the flip side of tricky matchups, you have Hero, which is another Ooh. matchup. Oh my lord. Yeah, it's another matchup that's also pretty tricky to play against because um, you have to be conscious of what the hero is going to pull out uh, with that menu because yeah. you can get caught unawares and just get absolutely deleted. But. The command grab, the side Damn. B from Insin, taking out that second stock, and this is really good from Tismi, actually. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Nice. nice. Yeah, really yeah, he's good fair there. Two stocks up. Oh. oh, well, actually, sorry. Was two stocks up, but even if it was only for like what five seconds, being two stocks up on Jack Gorman of all people is definitely like no mean feat. Yeah. Definitely not easy to do. And gets the revenge. Oh, this could be scary. Yeah, that is also another really, really... Oh, my lord! <gasps> On the parry. And just does it again. But yeah, that's the other really scary thing about Intim, especially with these, like, slower characters. <gasps> oh, my god. What a call that out. Coverage. That up smash, actually, not having that much range, but being able to, like, still get catch some roll. Really yeah. Impressive. That it's was amazing. a perfect roll read there. Um, try, like... It was a bit of like a mental mix-up, right? Because you see someone charging uh, an up smash below the platform you're on. Like your first instinct is, all right, I'm getting out of here. But right. uh, X6VCD, positioning himself in a way just to catch that roll. Um, and all of a sudden, it's looking pretty doable for six-part Danish. Yeah. I mean, 100% versus Insin is... <gasps> oh my god. Okay, the up smash taking that out. That could have been curtains for yeah. either player there. I like, I like the attempt there, because I think if that hit, and if it was maybe a crit as well, it would have just been stuck. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, this play was but instant roll actually being longer than anticipated there. And that... Really good game one. Being healing it out. Yeah, what a good game one. He had a really strong start, went up two stocks, but then I think six spots started like bringing it back a little bit towards the end. So we'll see if he can keep that momentum going game two. It's going to be interesting to watch because playing against Tismi, he has a very solid flow chart. Uh, but obviously, uh, Danger Crime Drama, very experienced player, knows how to adapt and how to just uh, keep mixing things up. So it's going to be interesting over like a best of five set, like which comes out on top, right? Because yeah. if Tismi doesn't know how to adapt, He's gonna be in a bit of trouble, but yeah, like the it's a it's a solid flow shot. Oh, that side be barely missing. Good, really good space. It's like that's the kind of the one. Thing. He's gonna go for this reversal option, this aggressive option for ledge. Oh, going deep perspective there. Perspective and make sure to punish it. Back wow. air, not quite taking it out. Fat character. 140%, but he's yeah. a heavy, so I don't think, like, honestly, most things will be good. Yeah, dude, Max Rage with Revenge is absolutely scary to be up against. Yeah. Like, he just touches you and bam, the oh stock's gone. Is that dead? No, Ricky. No, dude. barely. DI of the, the gods there. <gasps> wow. Oh my 
god, that was... If he... Yeah, if he pressed the other direction there, that would have been the sickest raid. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Oh, the up and taking it up out. Punish the jump. It seems to be nearly taking it back. Like, I, at the start there, I was going to say, Jack had the... Um, it was starting to get a bit of a download on, like, it, he was racking up the the, uh, the damage there, had a really good ledge trap going on. <gasps> the down air! Uh-oh. Dude, that was so risky. I don't think he would have made it back if Disney didn't, like, up. Wow, really betting it all on that. I mean, it would have been a good trade of stocks if he had betted that down air, so... Mm. Not not terrible play. Oh. Uh, we're going to close out the first stock. Yeah, now barely. It's a stock. 29% lead for six-part Danish, but... It is in sin, it's just one revenge and one slap is exactly. enough to pull that back. It's so scary, like, especially against these, like, slower sorties with, like, no actual, like, true, true combos. Like, where in sin can just mash down B out of your bread and butters, and then if you knock fast enough, like, he just gets a free revenge, and, you know, you, you get grabbed once, and bam, that's 60%, and it's it's such a pain Ooh. to deal with. <gasps> Down air up smash coming in again. Yeah. Bit of a, su a bit susty eye there from uh, Tizmi. Like, that just went straight up. Um, but living there. Oh, oh, oh my God, is that dead? No, he's good, he's good. Okay, okay. That was really that dicey nothing. because, yeah. Because that, that diagonal angle, right? And it sends you, like, to the pineapple zone of PS2. Oh, yeah. Covered okay. every option in the book. But yeah, now that he has was... no mana. That is, like, the one weakness of using that move is that you start off with no mana on the next one. Yeah. Uh, uh, quickly racking it back, yeah. But I think Tizmi had kind of the right call there, trying to use the, like, as much of the ledge grab invincibility and the get-up invincibility as possible, but unfortunately, Magic Burst, just a bit too long-lasting to be able to effectively tank the entire thing. But... Yeah. Oh, oh that was a bold roll. Off stage. The edge guard gets the zoom. Zoom is trying to go for the call out. Oh, oh. and lands with the nair. Kind of fights his way back onto the stage there. All right, today I learned you can aerial out of zoom. <laughs> oh, Ooh. what? The five points of forward I can burn. Oh, sick. Nice catch there from Danish kind drama. Sealing it out 1 1. Yeah, just kind of using the five points for probably the first time for Sev. Like, converting off it really good. I haven't really seen that been used much throughout the set so far. But I'm sure you can make good use of it. Any any projectile against slow heavies like Incineroar is going to be a um, really good tool to use against them, for sure. Yeah, especially because I think that might be able to interrupt the side B as well. So that just gives another like layer of like defense against yeah. Incin. Exactly. Um, Keeping yeah, in the way. I don't think Hero normally uses it too much because it's just so slow and leaves you a bit vulnerable. But yeah, against like a character with like such a slow ground movement as Insin, uh, I think would be pretty valuable, especially with that very telegraphed sideways side B. And on to Kalos. Here's me. This is an interesting stage pick. Because mm. um, I thought, I don't know actually, but the, the big stage is going to, I feel, definitely benefit six by Dench Cramper. Really? Because I thought that like the big blast zones would benefit Insin a bit more, because Insin has the capacity to just absolutely smack you out of a stock, versus Hero, which pro who probably needs a more. Unless he just crits. Holy All right, crap. commentator's curse. Just eat my words right there. <laughs> Dude, down air up smash has come in so clutch throughout the set. We've seen it like pretty. We've seen it every game, and it has done wonders for him, so now he's up a full stock. <gasps> Tends to be looking to bring this back. Had a bit oh, of the get to the revenge. Oh, this is going to be a juicy revenge. I can't believe the revenge hitbox hits from that far. That is such a cracked move. Oh, double uh, revenge. Uh-oh. A hit now will be very fatal. For yeah. Six but he's going to lose it soon. If he doesn't find it, oh. is that actually going to take the stock from no, this side? No, it's Kalos and from the other side, unfortunately. But it did do like Oh, finally he went for it. 80%. 180. Yes, yeah, so these large, these large blast sites are gonna actually benefit this part. Oh, yeah, we're not gonna be able to make it back. Uh, also, I think the large stage is gonna give him a chance to like get that menu up, run away and look at the menu. Yeah, exactly. Buff himself up before he has to interact. Which is gonna come in really much. Ooh, bit of, try to call out a jump there with that double jump. Fair. Dash attack. Oh, goes for the weight grab. Love nice. to see it. Nice coverage of the platform. 
I Dude, love that... that setup. Puts him on the platform and then just prepares the side beat. Yeah. Oh my god, it's a two frame. Doesn't get anything off of it there. Tries to pull out a roll. Dude, that entire like sequence was so sick with his me. Just that wait uh, to call out the tech and then yeah. just grab. That was so clean. And gets the revenge, and now he's pretty much even things up, and he's got a revenge. He's so yeah, scary that's so card. scary. But six part as well, starting to catch on to the like the um, the revenging the fireballs. Oh there. He's like, my <gasps> god, he parries the S smash, and doesn't doesn't make good use oh. of Umfa though. Oh, that's gonna be it. Yeah. That's so so lethal, dude. That that magic burst is ridiculous. The covering like red trapping, it's ridiculous. Yeah. That's probably the best use case scenario for it, right? Like, you yeah. completely deny every single ledge and recovery option, as well as, like, the fact that you lose all your mana is completely mining. Oh, 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 I don't think he had a jump. I think he buffed an air dodge there. Damn, unlucky. Yeah, it looked like he might have buffed an air dodge. I think he was expecting, like, a tech situation, uh, <laughs> but just barely missed the, the stage. We'll have to see that in the replay, though, but... 2 and 1. So, yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier, right? Like, game one, Tizmi has a very, very solid floor chart, and Intin is kind of like a knowledge check character. Um, So, like, he obviously took game one off to like a bit of a running start, but now the six part is starting to adapt, it's onto Tizmi to kind of like counter adapt. Um, and I think that's just going to be the deciding factor of this match, really. So, back on Kalos. Exactly. My, my favorite option select, uh, top deck bounce versus a character that doesn't have a projectile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looking for the down is. Yeah, Tizmi, after the really strong start in game one, now actually on his potentially last game of the set. And he's at. Okay, I thought he might have SD'd there. Oh, that was so bold. I, I guess he had more leeway because he has a disjoint, oh. but like. Challenging! Oh! <laughs> he gets the double up smash read. Yeah, this guy's different. Oh fuck, I'll do it again! Oh my god, oh my the revenge, god, revenge into the back at 40% in. on two moves. What? That shouldn't be allowed. Oh my god, another 20. This is looking so scary now. It's me with the lead, even after like six spots strong start. Which is crazy, it just shows how back and forth these players <laughs> are. <laughs> <Bounce>. <gasps> Oh, a bit of a kind of a panic air dodge there gets called out the F smash, but even then. Oh, okay. Cool. Good roll in from six part. Really good. Is he gonna catch it? He's gonna come. Oh, oh yeah. Now he's looking for the revenge. That's an adaptation right there because he knows he likes to fight his way out of the zoo. Oh. oh my God. Okay. okay. Bit of a pressure guard there. Let's make it back. Drop down. Should be. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh my, god. my lord, does he, can he t does he tech? Yeah, he no, he tech. doesn't. He misses the tech, and now it is me up a stock. He heals right. at zero. That's the power play. <laughs> Healing at zero percent. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to, you just wants to be extra safe because you know how much percent uh, instant puts on you might as well be in that negative. <laughs> exactly. Oh my, misses the back air. Gets the up to up air, really nice conversion. Oh, oh nice reaction shield. there. And this, oh, dude, dude, this guy is crazy. Okay, oh yeah, my lord. Stack. That might be it. Is that it? On Kalos? No, okay. okay yeah. no, barely though. A B. And oh! Oh! <laughs> nah, this guy. And we're on to game five with that runoff spike. Oh my lord, Tizmi is on fire. Oh, catches the air dodge. So good, dude. Okay, he has okay. Powered up. These these players are like so explosive. You see like six part get a crazy zero death first stock, and then Tizmi just does it right back and evens things up, and that is why this set is like just going so crazy so far. Game oh, five. What a uh, hype five. set. With the winner going through the top 12. So you know a lot is on the line. Yeah. But look, the loser still goes into the top 12 just in the loser's bracket. And like... Well, no, they, they go into the loser's side of LCQ. Oh, shit. Right. So they, they have to play Banana next. And then the winner of that goes through the top 12. Okay, okay. I've been fact-checked. But either way, like no matter who goes through, I don't think it's in any doubt that they deserve it. Because these, these two have whoa, been playing whoa, whoa, out of... Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, PS1? This must have been a gentleman's. Wait, is this allowed? Uh, if, if, if they gentlemen's to it, look, 
There's been way worse gentlemen. <laughs> At least it wasn't Great Cave. If All it was right. Great Cave Game 5, I think we would have to, like, revoke both of their top top spots. <laughs> Um, but honestly, PS1, I, I can respect it, right? It's like an in-between of uh, PS2 and Small Battlefield. So, I, I can see yeah. the vision, right? I guess so. Maybe the Blast Zones will be a little bit different. I don't know how that's going to affect it. <laughs> oh, okay, oh my god! Oh my god! god. He would have made it back, but down there! Just denying that recovery. Six Pies is ready for it. Yeah. Dude, that would not have hit on like any of the legal stages. Uh, <laughs> one, because I think the legal stages, that would have made it back. I don't know. Like that would have, ma I felt like should have banged your hands. But also you saw how that sword stuck below the ledge. Yeah. Like small battlefield could never. Definitely not. But hey, look, he may be at a oh, full yeah. stock deficit, but this is instant or all right. You can just delete a stock and just do it again. Yeah, he's definitely not out of it. Oh, magic burst. Wait, I was looking. Oh, I admit it, magic burst. Magic break off stage is not a good idea. Oh my god. Oh, he called out the jump, but he didn't swing. Psychop, is he gonna get the edge guard? <gasps> oh, he couldn't find the downer, and now he's ledge trapped with Psychop. Yeah, he, okay. It was he a really good shield. delay there from, from Danish Crime Driver there. Uh, it's <gasps> like. <gasps> oh, okay, just that was before bold. his side B came out. Okay, now he, this time. Oh, Travis got the two friend doesn't get it, but gets the up air, calls it, calling in that jump. Yeah, one nineteen. One each. Two oh, okay, each, so. that that oomph is really <laughs> scary. And he's throwing out all the spells. Okay, that was probably the best case scenario he heals at there. Zero again. What are these heals at zero? I think he's just refreshing the menu, right? <laughs> like I think. Actually, wait. I'm pretty sure if you, you can only get heal once per stock, so maybe he's doing it to get that option out of the menu, which might be like really smart. Yeah, I, I'd imagine have to do with like. Uh, spell manipulation. Yeah. Oh my god. Now. Oh my lord, that could have been punished really badly. Oh, 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 goes high. What a big up. Wait, no jump. No jump. Oh. Okay, okay. Six bar is such a good spot now. But. Oh, it's just me in a really good position. There, guys. Oh my god, he gets the F smash, but it's not that strong. Not strong enough to but, kill, at least. Yeah, bonus zoom. Tries to catch him landing on the platform. Doesn't get anything. Uh -oh. oh no. Nah, we will be getting a bit antsy there. That's gonna get punished every day of the week. Every part of the crime drama. Now he's back off stage. Yeah, couldn't get that. I think if he had magic burst there. Oh, oh this is dicey. <gasps> That'll do is it. Is that it? Yeah. That is it. Let's go Powered up, it. dash attack with 107% rage. That's, that's killing. Yeah, the, PS, oh. the PS1. What a set though. Tis me. The Dark Horse of the turn that we did not expect to go this far, but has pulled a game five on Jack Gorman. That is exactly. absolutely no mean feat. So congrats um, to Jack though for making it through the top 12. Jack is through the top 12, congrats to him. But also it props to Tears Me. Like even if he Great doesn't make it to top cut, this is run this season has been insane. Exactly. Game five with Jack Gorman is not easy. And now he's going to go against the run back against Banana. <laughs> we saw how that went during the league. Oh, that was one of the hyper sets of probably the whole league. Some like really hey. sick plays. So now we'll see how we're going to go in the run back. We'll see. We're looking forward to it. Catch you guys there.